Hello fellow engineers and welcome back to Legends of Eidolon. And yes, after a lot of your comments, we are back in this game. And this is my little my little team of idlers down here. I've got the RC official and then some of my editors. We've got Schmike, the suited bird and Kendall. Perhaps we'll be able to unlock my final two editors today. And that will actually be the full RCE team. And a quick one before we go too far. This is a sponsored video. So thank you so much to the dev for sponsoring once again. Massively appreciate your support of the channel. And for those watching, if you click the link in my description you can check out the game yourself because it's just released on ios yes apple users you can finally play this while sitting on the toilet nice and there's a celebration event on all platforms that will end on august 26th and it gives thousands of gems and exclusive event items so it's been a while since we last touched it so let's get into rc official this is me i am a warrior i'm currently fighting slimes well that's where i was when we last played this and of course because it's an idle game the game has been playing whilst i've been away so let's play and let's see my afk gains you were gone for 64 days we've got 200 000 kills and we became a millionaire yeah we were also got all that other stuff which is lovely i'm gonna claim that up I, oh man there's so much stuff i can't even pick it up uh, i also got invited to join a guild scam a lot oh that sounds good i'm definitely gonna join that one uh, anyway in the top right this is this is what we were going up to last time we were trying to restore power to the something and we needed to collect a desert topaz there's also another quest about building some stuff with planks and nails and this other one defeating a wolf golem and then collecting the town gem so if we head into the map we can see we are currently there. That is my floating head with its hard hat. Now, it looks like we've got two different ways to go because these ones, these unlit ones, they're areas we haven't gone to yet. Uh, but I feel like that symbol there, that's probably the gem I've got to get. So if we teleport over to there and let's talk to these guys, they seem very trustworthy. Now, apparently I'm holding lots and lots of t-shirts. So I might sell those by dragging them up here. That gives me two silver coins and then I'm gonna guess that these guys are the planks we need to defeat so I think each one we defeat we will get some planks so if we just do auto on that means we'll attack everything in sight now, unfortunately we are missing quite a lot quite a lot <laughs> so if we go into talents I believe we can we can spend some points that we've got and look if we look at these stat info I believe we are a warrior if you remember from the title screen so if we want to increase our accuracy we've got to increase our wisdom now we Wisdom is this one. We're currently we're currently level zero. So I'm going to spend some skill points in there. So that means our accuracy should have gone up a bit. I'm then going to go into these other tabs at the top because I think I've never gone in those before. So wow, yeah. In our warrior perks, we have 146 points to spend. And since this guy is a warrior, his main job is to fight rather than mine or chop wood or anything. Uh, we're just gonna we're gonna put all of these into the various fighting things. So we'll put I don't know like 30 into that one. Let's increase our HP. So we're currently on 111 and now our HP is up to 151. Very nice. We'll increase our strength, increase our XP gain by 20%. Nice. Then we have this star tab as well. And these are like the special things. We've got 64 things to spend. And we've only got one star thing unlocked which is the XP converter. So I guess we'll just wang a little bit in there. And then I think my main mission is to defeat the planks because this bottom left, this portal, we've got to kill 4,200 planks in order to get into that portal. And I have a feeling that might be where the wolf golem is. So we're going to we're going to start attacking. And oh, look, we did we did one bit of damage. So whilst that's going on, we're going to swap players. We're going to go see what Schmike has been up to. He's level 22. He's been chopping this whole time. So he's got 59,000 oak logs. Fair play, Schmike. Good work for a change. So we'll claim all that stuff. The game's just gone mental. Look at all this awesome stuff to collect. And Schmike's got two missions going on. He's got the Farmer Brim to craft and the Orange Tea to craft. So if we head back into this portal down here, see we're heading into it. Whoop. We can go to the crafty block over here. And then we can craft a Farmer Brim with some spore caps. And we need five copper ores, which we don't have at the moment. And the Orange Tea, we do have all of that. So let's craft the Orange Tea. And then all we need is five copper ore. Now, now, if I remember correctly, I think I left one of my other players mining. Yeah, so in the player swap menu, you can see the suited bird was mining. So he should have a load of copper on him. Yep, you could say that. 62,000 copper ore. So we'll claim all of that stuff. And then if we head down here and along into the portal on the right, whoop, yeah, we can come to this chest. And if we actually, if we plop some copper ore in there, ooh, which we can stack up, we can stack that. Very nice to see. We can swap back to Schmeichel, who should be in the same location. Yep, if we come over to the chest,
chest. And look, we can share everything we've done. So now he has copper ore, which means I can craft the farmer brim. And look, our good old friend, the tapeworm, has a quest for us again. Wait, did you just gather all these materials yourself when you could have got someone else to do it for you? No, I actually got the suited bird to do it for me. Anyway, now he's got a quest to go retrieve the golden jam. So if we head into this portal, we're in this room. We can go to the next portal portal. Yeah, and you see at the moment we're actually getting shafted by frogs. So what I might do, I might come into my talents and skills and stuff and I might upgrade my HP. We got 14 points. Let's make ourselves a bit stronger. And basically, I've got to head over to this picnic basket, uh, which can talk, apparently, which is quite strange. But they've given me a quest to bring them 50 nom riches. So that's good. What isn't good is I died while that was happening. Not ideal. But we can respawn in the town, which is where we want to go anyway. Chokes on you, game. And then if we swap back to the suited bird, you can see he's actually holding 40 nom riches. So we can shove those in the crate. Go back to Schmeichel. Grab the 40 nom riches. And then if we head to the store, we can afford to buy 10 of those if we sell some stuff. So to get 10, we need 80 coins. Now, thankfully, I've got quite a lot of stuff on me. I can sell that t-shirt we just made. I can sell the hat. I can sell some of these caps. And then we've got 87 coins so we can buy the sandwiches. And then we can realize we've already got 10 sandwiches in our inventory. So that was a waste. <laughs> But anyway, now we've got 60 sandwiches or non witches. We can head back into the portal. We can go and speak to the picnic basket, which I am a bit worried about dying. Although I do have a very nice amount of HP right now. Uh, these frogs, they're pretty strong though. I'm trying to not get killed. Let's go see what the picnic says. Basically, they want ketchup and mustard bottles. Now, I think I already did this with another character, my, my main one. So I'll start you fighting and then I'm going to swap characters to RCE official. We'll see how RCE has actually got on. We've gone for 10 minutes minutes we we got zero kills feel like we might need to level up to kill these planks maybe a good start would be to increase my my weapons so let's go to the crafty bench i think we're currently using the wooden spear Beer, which probably isn't great if we head down a bit perhaps we can craft a better weapon like boxing gloves covered in barbed wire so we need copper bars oak logs and trusty nails for that i'm not sure how to make trusty nails but i can click on them and you can see you can craft these in the produce tab in the anvil so let's head to the anvil click on produce and it looks like everything is locked behind level so we're gonna have to leave ourselves doing some anvil work while we level up so let's leave them doing that we'll head to let's check out what Kendall's been up to. So Kendall did a lot of killing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow, they leveled up a lot though. They're now level 29. Love to see it. So with Kendall, I'm going to make her put some trousers on. They're the give up on life pant. Uh, and that will increase her defense and some luck and some other things. As well as just covering up her modesty. And you can see her current mission was to defeat green spores. So we've done that. The tapeworm is very impressed with us. So we've got some questy things to do. So I'll do all them and then we'll get back to our other bloke. Right, so back at our main character, we've currently, we've unlocked the rusty nails. So we're going to produce those. Now we've also got got some points to spend. I love spending points, so we're going to put that in bonus XP, I guess. And whilst that's going on, we remember we need copper bars as well as oak logs. So let's go to our characters that are best at doing that. So we're going to come over to the furnace thing. We're going to shove all of our copper ore into there. Then if we wang some oil in there as well, that will make us the copper bars we need. Meanwhile, I'm going to get the suited bird on mining. Uh, we can actually do a little mini game for this. I don't think I did this last time, so let's see what that's all about. Oh god, do we have to jump? How do I jump? Oh, I ready? Oh, no, we failed. That was hard. Jump on rocks to get points. Oh, jump on rocks to get points. Also, tap while in the air to slam down. Sorry for probably making you lose. Yeah, so I was trying to... Um... Oh, balls. <laughs> right, okay, so we've got to jump over that. And then we got to jump, slam. Oh, I keep double slamming. I don't want to double slam. All right, this is my last life. Come on, Matt, you got this. You ready? Boosh. Cock. Anyway, we're going to leave him just idling. So he's going to be mining away. We can then keep going back to the chest and filling it up with the iron bars. And then we got Schmeichel chopping, Kendall also chopping, and the trusty nails are being built. But this is going to take a while to get going. And I could, I could just be an architect about it. I could just wait. Or I could use these handy time skipping sweets that the dev gave me. So like this one is a four hour time candy. So if we set RCE to chopping, we can then use that time candy, which means we got 230 six logs and we produced 81 nails meaning now we can craft the stinger boxing gloves and we can replace our 
beer with those. I mean, perhaps actually I could I could try and get some copper armor going on. I mean, obviously we don't need the helmet. We've already got a hard hat for that. But if we just get a copper bar and some more trusty nails, as well as some bleach logs, we should be good. Now, if we go explore, I know that we can get bleach logs from one of these areas. Yeah, this was it. Down with the bean people. I believe this will get us the bleach logs that we need. Now, let's head back to the suited bird who was mining. So he got us 10 copper ore while he was mining away. So let's go shove that in the furnace and then the furnace we can actually upgrade this with coins if i can get some more coins i've got enough silvers i just need some i just need some bronzes so quickly back to the store sell a load of copper ore and then we can upgrade this so what do we want to do Ore capacity i think that sounds good or the speed could be good let's do the capacity and the speed well and actually a new forge slot sounds useful as well i need some more coins hang on a second let's sell the traffic cone whatever that that is bandana and then a load of spore caps and then we can upgrade to have a new forge slot very nice so presumably that means i can put in extra copper in there so let's get suited bird mining and let's fast forward a little bit we've what's this time candy a four hour candy yeah we'll have some of them so nice we can stock this thing up we're now producing double the ore that we were previously so if we skip forward another four hours i don't think the furnace is affected by the time skip that's slightly annoying still back to rce we've got we only got one bleach log per five minutes so you know what that means 72 hour time candy a thousand bleach logs Thank you, game. So back to the store. You can see we have enough bleach logs for them. We just need 30 copper bars, which we do have now thanks to Suited Bird putting those in there. I am actually going to I'm gonna upgrade that more. I'm going to sell all this copper. And then I'm going to upgrade this furnace. Uh, I want to make the forge speed a lot faster. So we're basically just going to do this bottom one. Nice. That's level eight now. So the forge speed is 170. I'll make the capacity a bit bigger as well. And then leave Suited Bird mining. Meanwhile, RCE will grab the copper bars, head to the anvil. And if we take these trusty nails out of there, there's just a case of do we go with the copper plate body, which we can afford now, or do we go for the copper plate legs? I think I'll go for the legs. And then we'll swap out our tracksuit bottoms for those. Sell bleach logs and copper ores. Upgrade this furnace to have another slot, I think. Ooh, and another slot. And another slot. Oh, it's just slots for days. As well as the forge speed pretty much as much as I can. The ore capacity is always a good thing. I'm just going to keep adding slots slots as well right nice that is well and truly upgraded now which means back at the suited bird if we just gain some copper ore by using some more time candies then we can fill all of these up with various resources which essentially means we're making eight bars at once rather than one meaning we are making bars eight times quicker so yeah we'll take all of those then we can make the copper plate body nice get that equipped instead of the orange t-shirt and then we just need 75 bars to get the boots as well and then hopefully we might be strong enough to take down a plank so back down here i do have some more talent points to spend so obviously i'm going to put that back into the wisdom to increase our accuracy so we'll upgrade that 13 times and then we'll get attacking and unfortunately it's not looking good we're still missing a lot oh we got one hit we did get one hit this could take a while thankfully i have time candies so let's skip forward 72 days we've got 512 kills and you can see we're a little bit closer to unlocking this door so i'm guessing all i'm gonna do is spam the time candies so we'll just keep claiming these <laughs> you can see that number is slowly going down and then we've only got seven kills left to make so let's just use a one hour candy oh that was seven kills exactly what are the odds of that and it's finally open so let's head into the new portal and see if that is where this wolf golem creature is located we got a new bit of wood what are we chopping let's skip forward an hour Hour. Oh, it's forest fibers. Interesting. We haven't seen those yet, I don't think. Although I'm not sure we need them for anything. Let's go down and see what is down here. Oh my goodness. What are they? They're like weird frogs with horns. I don't I don't like them. And in three days, we killed 24 of them. It's a bullfrog. Uh, there is actually, there's a little pig down here. So he's just given us a quest to retrieve a stolen item. Anyway, back to the suited bird. Oh man, you're doing, you're actually doing a good job, suited bird. Nice change from usual. Let's grab all 
all of this ore and let's shove it all in the crate and go back to RC official. They're actually called Giga Frogs, what I'm fighting. Pretty scary sounding. Now, I'm going to teleport back to the main village though because I want to, as you can see for the brochure, I've got the right number of planks. I do need a lot more trusty nails. So when we grab all these rusty nails out of there, although we don't have enough yet, we are actually able to produce the boring brick. Yeah, but I think for now we'll keep the trusty nails going and I'll probably, I'm probably going to try and get my other characters on those as well. So Kendall, go over to the anvil, get producing on that and spend some points. Let's up the capacity. And also I've got bolt cutters here. I bet if you drop these on a sewer grating, it would snap the bars right off. Well, there is a sewer grating there. Do I need to drop these? Maybe there's a different sewer grating. I mean, technically anyone can walk up there. I don't... I <laughs> I don't really understand the point of that grating. So little civil engineering lesson, a little drainage lesson. If you ever send like a pipe out there like this and it's got the vertical grating bars, the only reason they're there, they're called a security grate and they stop people from getting up into the grating. So this one, absolutely pointless. All it's doing is blocking a bit of the water, but people can still get up it. Literally makes zero sense. Now on the outlet, the bars are never there to like stop debris and stuff getting through the water. You always have that at the at the end it. So where the water enters a pipe, you'll see like a grating. They're usually like 45 degrees just so that as, as debris and stuff sticks there, the water flows over the top, still into the pipe. And therefore you expect no debris in your pipe. Having a grew out the outlet is pointless unless it's for security because obviously all your stuff will get stuck in the pipe and therefore it's really hard to clean. So Dev, I reckon your next update should be to fix that. <laughs> <laughs> we demand realistic engineering in all games. Anyway, I got Schmike on the smithing as well, so that's pretty good. I'm going to make Schmike use a time candy. That's a day he's been gone. So hopefully if we head back to the anvil. Yeah, the thread is maxed out, so we can quick deposit that. And we're on to the trusty nails, which is exactly what we wanted. Let's head back out there again. Use another time candy. And nice, we've made 20 trusty nails in a day. 20 in a day, that's a bit slow. But still, we can spend points on making it quicker upping the capacity and meanwhile suited bird oh no look we've run out of copper ore so you need to do a lot of time shifting so 12 hours lots of copper ore fill this thing up oh man how much how much does this store now all right so each 12 hours i skip is like more than an entire thing so i get 325 iron per 12 hours oh no i've just picked up even more bloody hell <laughs> so yeah let's just keep using candies and fill this thing up all right so i got like 320 in all of those so that should keep us going for a long time I'm gonna grab all the copper bars out of there. Give them all to RCE. And then I can craft some boots. Equip those. And then perhaps I can look to see to get a better weapon. The steel axe. I need to be level 12, but that's fine. I need slime sludge, which is a monster drop, so I can do that. And the boring brick, which I now know how to produce, because I just, rather than producing nails, I produce the boring brick. But I need the nails first. So I want a thousand so I can do this quest. So, in the map, I've headed over to this tree area, and I'm in inside the tree and there's these like <laughs> what are they they're like twigs with really far apart eyes and legs but uh, we can turn on our auto attack and we should start punching them now, again these are pretty strong with there's a lot of misses going on but we can use our time candies let's skip three days oh no we got zero kills we got zero kills however skipping three days means back in here our anvil we've made 200 rusty nails love to see it and we're half of the way to building the brochure i also just head into the shop because i feel like i need more inventory to be able to hold these nails so i can buy four extra item slots for 200 gems. Now I've got 40,000 gems, so let's purchase all of those. Apply them all and watch the inventory grow. So I skipped some more time, which means I collected all these resources that I can sell for money. I can then grab more rusty nails, spend points on increasing the capacity, and then by my maths, I reckon one more three-day skip. We should be good. So time candy, skip. Lots of kills, lots of money from selling sandwiches, and then, oh, we're already eight short. But back as Schmike, I've got four nails. So we can shove them in the chest. And then if I grab those, do a cheeky one hour skip, then finally you have enough to build the brochure building. So back to this dude in the mask. We completed a quest. And then if I head to the most important NPC in this game, this little bird here, look, he's, he's got the hard hat. He was the one that actually gave everyone the RCE hard hat, which was a limited edition.
hidden special item, which I think will give us access to world two. All right, so over this way, what what is this dude? Dog bone. So he wants us to head down here and kill these plank things. So you know what that means? We'll do that for three days. So now dog bone is impressed. We've completed a quest and then apparently he's just given us a key. So can we go through this door? Amarox Villa. You have to hold down on the boss keys in your inventory for them. Okay, so there's the boss key. Let's hold it down. So I guess we're going in. Although it does say up here, accuracy is very low. So perhaps before we go in, thing, and let's just see if it does work. So it says at the moment, accuracy 23%. So we got seven points. Let's just put one in and let's see if that percentage has gone up 25%. Okay, so that's good. We know that is increasing our accuracy. So that's maxed out. We'll get some more HP. Right, and then I feel like this is it. This is the moment we've been preparing for. All of our previous characters, our editors, they've been helping us up into this point. So I guess let's try and take down the boss. Oh my goodness, he's huge. What is that? Is that where he's going to attack? That's where he's going to attack. How do I attack him? Okay, I've actually got to, I've actually got to do stuff. So let's, let's get close. And now we're fighting him. Oh god, run away. He's about to kick us. <laughs> Um, I feel like I'm a bit underprepared for this. <laughs> I'm just missing his leg. It's giant, mate. It's literally just there. Run, run. He's about to He's about to hit you. Uh, so yeah, that, that didn't go great. <laughs> we took down less than a thousand of his 25,000 health. Right, so I think we need to unlock this steel axe. So we're going to go get some slime. I've set up the anvil to get us some boring bricks. We need 125 of those. This will produce 290 or 300. So that's fine. I'll leave that doing its thing. Meanwhile, we'll go find the enemy that gives us slime. So I'm pretty sure frogs give us frog legs. The beans give us beans, surprisingly. What do these guys give us? I mean, they look sort of slimy. Let's skip here for three days. Nice. Now we've got lots of slime sludge, which is exactly what we wanted. Back to the town. Because we time skipped, we should have a load of bricks. Yep, there we go. And that means we can craft the steel axe. So let's equip that instead of our gloves. And then I'm going to really, really prepare myself. I'm going to keep myself fighting in this place. And we're going to time skip. So that gets us 352,000 every time we skip. If I just head back into the carrot place, what if we skip here? Is that more or less XP? It's about the same XP. Yeah, let's kill carrots. I feel a bit better killing carrots rather than goblins. And we are going to skip days and days and days and weeks. And look, the game has told me I'm an elite player. Love to see it. Of course, I'm definitely not just cheating. All right, well, let's see if we can take down the boss again this time. I feel like we're a bit more prepared, maybe, potentially, probably not. So let's just run over give him a bash. I think if we stay here, that sword doesn't hit us, which is quite good to see. I'm going to run away from the fist. I don't like the look of that. I don't want to be fisted. All right, so we've done better already. He's, he's about to stomp me. Let's run out. We took all of them in the face. <laughs> anyway, you're doing some damage, right? There's a foot. Run, 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 run. <gasps> okay, so we hit that. Back over to him. Give him another boosh. All right, run. Oh, that was close. That was close. All right, now we're only doing 10 damage. So I think there's something going on. If that doesn't kill us, oh, that nearly killed us. Yes, look up here. I think this could be like a shield or something. So let's destroy that as best we can. Hopefully he can't hit us from here. All right, nice. The shield is down. So hopefully we can sneak back back. So, oh no, look, his leg's still shielded. Okay, I think that means we have to go up. I've only got 10 health. <laughs> oh, I've just been killed by a spike. All right, we go again. Run, little dude. Right, seems to be doing a bit more damage this time, although he is about to stomp at me. Run! Ow, 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 ow. All right, look, he's down to half health. Oh god, those fireballs are close, and the sword just misses if I stay here, it seems. Uh, we are absolutely rinsing him. He's just shot something over there. Is that the shield? I don't know. Let's go up. All right, whatever that is, I want to destroy it. Oh, I, ooh, I nearly got fisted then. I think I uh, just about survived. So I'm going to destroy that. I have a feeling it might be like health regen or something. Anyway, let's head back, destroying his shield. Shin. Die, Shin. Oh, man, we keep getting critical hits. So his health is going down so much. Come on, please, please. I, I won't lie to you. I've I've had quite a few attempts at this now. Run, run, run. Oh, that was close. Back to the foot. Back to the foot. Look at that. Two double critical hits. Oh, please, game. Please. We're so close. We're so close. Just give, give me a critical hit. Give me a critical hit. Boosh. Yes. Yes. Oh, we did it. We did it. That that feels good. Not gonna lie. I think that item behind the bottle is the crystal. So I need to I need to drop some of my stuff. Let's get rid of all this slime. I don't know why I'm carrying slime around with me. It's a little bit weird. All right, and now you can see we have the desert topaz. So back here we have the tapeworm guy. He's telling us we've we've completed the main quest. Oh yes. And then we can go speak to our bird. And look, he's unlocked the portal to world two. So we'll jump straight into that. A whole new world.
world. Something, something magical to do. I'm gonna collect the gems and talk to this cactus. And now I'm self-conscious because I've realized my girlfriend's in the house and can probably hear me singing. It's a bit weird. Anyway, our first quest is to kill a load of sandy pots. So as with world one, there's lots of killing quests. And look, if you look in the top left, there's a new builder bird. We can get to world three as well. And look at the map. This is going to be absolutely packed full of content. So we've got the two sort of options. We can head right, we can head left. So first off, let's go into the left portal. And look, we're at the beach. We got some fishing rods here. And basically, we can do some fishing. So yes, each world has its own little tasks. So let's get into the mini game. And basically, this one, we've just got to fling the fishing rod with enough power. Nice to land on the fish. Oh, there's a mine on this one, though. <laughs> Oh, that was close. That was close. Huh. No escaping, Mr. Fishy. All right, this is going to be a bit of a tricky shot. Oh, I got both of them. I don't know my own skills. Oh, that was bad. Anyway, we leveled up our fishing. Nice. So let's head back into this thing. And if we go to the right, there's another portal to go in. So these are the sandy things we got to kill. And then if we head this way, <gasps> there's a bridge. There's a bridge in World 2. You know what that means? It's time for a bridge review. A rope bridge that goes uphill. You can use it to jump down. You can use it to climb up. There's anchor supports on either side. And each piece of wood is supported on either side. So it shouldn't wobble. Although if it's not connected either side, is it even a bridge? Overall, I can give this bridge a 3.8 out of 10 bridge review. All right, and over on this other side of the bridge, there's these little things, which we destroyed to get a load of bugs, and then we're catching bugs. <laughs> Look at us with our little net. Now again, you can just idle this, or you can play the mini game, and the mini game is, well, I just failed. The mini game is sort of like Flappy Bird. You've got to, you just got to fly and stay in the air, and you've got to get through the hoops. Oh, and I, I hit the edge of the hoop. I will not be defeated. Yes, through the hoop. Anyway, so much stuff to see in this new world, including a cake -a -seum. But for now, guys, we're going to leave that there. Thank you so much to the devs for sponsoring. Massively appreciate your support of the channel. Remember, click the link in the description to check this game out on iOS. And if you play on any platform, including Steam and Android, there's currently a special event on until the 26th of August, where we get loads of gems and stuff. So, peace, love, and cake -a -seums. And I'll catch you guys next time. Bye!